Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Adala. I am bringing you another uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Haven't done one of those in a while and uh, for some reason I decided to get back into it today and uh, I picked up an add-on uh, which is what we're looking at right now in front of us. It is called the Astro One and uh, it is based on the real-world Jetson One which is a real-world vehicle that has uh, completed uh, test flights and uh, essentially it's part of the what uh, what I call is the e eVTOL revolution or electric vertical takeoff and landing um, vehicles and um, the uh, the main thing that um, this these vehicles offer uh, is essentially uh, what I would say is the next generation of uh, flying machines um, and I'm sure the Jetson 1 was um, kind of inspired by the Jetson cartoon, right? Uh, the Jetsons, or they were able to fly everywhere with their flying vehicles um, so this thing is uh, actually available for purchase um, I think it's about a hundred grand so the, the price of a you know, pretty mid-end or high-end uh, luxurious vehicle and uh, yeah, I mean it's driven by uh, eight motors, electric motors. You can see two of them on each of these pylons. Um, and uh, uh, it's got these carbon fiber um, propellers. Uh, it's made of carbon fiber and aluminum. Uh, it's got this kind of a um, you know roll cage um, going for it, and. Uh, it's uh it's a you know fully electrically powered and um sorry my camera's giving me some issues here but um let's see if i can fix that anyways uh, i'm not sure what's happening with my camera but um yeah it's um uh, fully electrically powered, it does about 60 miles an hour, uh, apparently goes up to 1500 feet and has 20 minutes of autonomy you know, based on the battery. Um, so it's something I actually considered uh, one day buying in, in the real life. Um, I think the only downside of it is the 20 minute endurance, uh, but otherwise it's a freaking revolutionary vehicle. Um, so we're here in uh, uh, the beautiful city of Vancouver and this uh, uh, great morning um, you know sun kind of peeking out through the, the back of the mountains there and uh, yeah we're gonna take it for a spin and see what it's all about um, it's I've only had like about five minute test flight in it and um, we'll see uh, we'll I guess uh, test it out together um, before I take off, all like I'm gonna say is uh, the controls work kind of like a helicopter, um, but it's you know has so many stabil stabilization systems. And I don't know if you've ever flown a drone; um, they're extremely easy to fly, right? And a lot of times they have their hands off. Like if you let go um, in a helicopter, if you let go, you'll basically crash and die. But in this thing, um, you know, it just floats floats in the air which is really amazing I mean uh, so essentially you've got your your throttle uh, and your sticks uh, so there's the stick on you can see it I'm moving it um, right left is kind of roll forward back is pitch and you got your uh, throttle that uh, changes the um, up and down I guess right um, it's got mirrors it's got uh, this is a speed um, it, it says in knots so that's pretty cool Altitude AGL um, and above sea level, so it says we're feet five feet above sea level, um, and then this is our RPM and our batteries, and it's got uh, several modes, but essentially um, there is a I don't I haven't tried any of these uh, except sports mode, and you can change that by clicking on these things here. Anyways, let's take her for a flight and see how she does. I'm just going to pull back on the throttle here, and uh, let's see, here we go, taking off, 
it's kind of touchy on the throttle but uh, essentially I am hands off right now back on the throttle it doesn't maintain altitude like a hundred percent but that's as easy as it is so we're just gonna pitch forward and just like a helicopter uh, it does lose lift so you gotta put a bit of power and then uh, if I let go it will basically start slowing down not as much as a helicopter uh, so right now I'm only doing roll and when you roll you do lose some lift but it is incredibly easy to fly and yeah if I want to go faster I just pitch forward and I do lose altitude so I add some power as far as uh, altitude change let's try to give it a lot of power that's basically almost max climb rate which is pretty good and then back down on the power and yeah I mean look at it it's pretty freaking amazing I'm really curious uh, to see how much battery power it's gonna take um, so it's at 75 right now this is an add-on scenery I had featured some time ago when with the Cabri it's essentially the same flight um, except now we're doing it in the Astro 1 and uh, I actually do plan to go here in real life and do to um, this Harbor Air seaplanes uh, in Vancouver and uh, I look to take a ride on one of these one of these alright let's try to go forward and then I'm gonna do a uh, yaw spin see what happens then so it keeps its momentum as you can see we're going backwards now that is crazy so it does maintain a lot of momentum um, so yeah, let's go for a spin. And the way I imagine, uh, imagine like being in Vancouver and I mean being anywhere really, but especially in populated area with a lot of traffic. Uh, I just imagine just how how this would revolutionize air travel or transportation in general. Um, it's, I mean, it is a single seater and it does get pretty damn cold in Canada, but uh, look at that, we're doing about six, almost 60 knots. Let's give it a bit of power, go over these trees. And then if I let go, it, it will slow down a bit. So let's say we want to land right there. Just let's go into power a bit. It is very touchy on the throttle, I won't say that much. Um, thought it would be a bit, which is kind of cool. Alright, so I'm going to let you go in the throttle. Throttle control is really the hardest part of flying this thing. It does like to lose altitude very quickly. Like that, it just drops out of the sky. So I don't know if that's kind of the real thing or not, cause <laughs> but uh, it is the most challenging part of flying this aircraft. And it is extremely fine control, so like I'm barely moving my throttle. And look at it, look at that pitching up and down. I'm trying to make it smooth, but it's... there we go. So let's go to external view, see if uh, I can get this thing to work again. Uh, well here we are. Sorry guys. It's not liking the spot that I uh, landed on, but...
I mean, look how quickly we just came in, just landed here. Just crazy. And the footprint, this thing will fit in your garage. You can literally fly it into your garage and in, out of your driveway. It's like insane. And again, this is not fiction. This exists right now. You could go buy this for 100 grand. It's absolutely nuts. Uh, let's see if I can do an external view. Um, from the back. I haven't done, I've been a lot doing a lot of DCS lately. Ooh, shit. <laughs> and, um, and as you can see, I am not used to <laughs> the camera controls. But I guess we'll do it from this view. Let's keep our tour going. Uh, we are at 70% battery. So I guess this will give you a taste of how far this thing can go before it runs out of juice. Alright, a little bit more power. I mean, think about do this, doing this in real life, guys. You're like, hey, you wanna go play tennis? Yeah, I'll just go on my Jetson 1 and... Uh, buzz the beach. It is a bit like a helicopter, as in if you pitch down, you do lose altitude and trade it for speed. And, uh, let's see, we are 69, so... Ooh, I wonder if I can uh, land on this thing. And in, uh, in sport mode, I think it allows you to bank more and everything. Ooh, that was rough. I'm just <laughs> trying to bank there. Let's see. Yeah, there's not enough room there. But look at this, you can literally come and hover like so easily next to this thing. Freaking amazing. Alright, let's keep going. So an altitude test, see how high we can go. Hello. It's amazing. Look at this. Yeah, this would be pretty scary. So yeah, it can definitely go high. Alright, let's try to land on this little uh, patch here. Again, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, some of these buildings um, don't always get modeled very well as far as but let's see if we wanted to let let's say we had this penthouse and we wanted to uh let's say we lived here right nice little penthouse nice little uh you can see that i gonna just said the hardest part is uh throttle control if this thing will actually land here. Oh, hell yeah. Boom, we're home. <laughs> we are home. <laughs> Landed on the roof. 
no traffic jams beat all the traffic and we can go have our margarita here on our patio um, Photogrammer could use a little bit of work here but uh, freaking amazing Let's see if I can go out and, um, yeah, screw it. Alright, how are we doing with battery? 64. So it's pretty good. Pretty good. Let's go back up. Boom. Took off from our penthouse, and let's say we wanted to go have a coffee somewhere. Let's, let, let's take, let's see how long it would take us. Like a minute, probably. <laughs> so let's say there's a, uh, a coffee shop that we really like somewhere I don't know Vancouver that well but um, let's say some place that we would have normally gone with a car with so for example scooters mm, let's say it was one of these streets We're almost there, essentially. I, I just don't know where to go, but uh, let's say that uh, the coffee was here. <laughs> Slow down. These are just homes, but uh, pretend that one of these guys is a coffee shop. And this is like a pretty narrow street in the middle of downtown, right? Let's say there's cars coming here. And, uh, yeah, you. this is basically how much how little room the freaking Jetson one needs right boom and <laughs> to shut it off it's like uh, it's like that quick sorry about the track I am just trying to um, yeah I mean we can literally park in a regular parking spot we're off the street. I mean, I didn't want to get too close. Um, still getting used to. But yeah, let's see. One of these houses was a coffee shop. Boom! Took us like two minutes to get here. Freaking crazy! And turning the thing on, you just get in. Boom! Turn on, and off you go. Look at a vertical. Freaking crazy! You're like, oh, I gotta go to my buddy's house. All right. No problem. I don't even know why you would follow the streets like this because you you can fly, right? But <laughs> but you can definitely avoid all those traffic lights. Look at that. Let's try to push this thing. Let's say your buddy's on the other end here of oh, Vancouver, away from your penthouse. Won't take much. What did that take? Thirty seconds to get to the out of downtown. Let's say your buddy lives in one of these buildings. All right, I had my coffee. A minute later, you're at your friend's place. You're like, okay, well, it's uh, one of these buildings. Just come here. You can park either in this park, or if you really didn't want to walk, Again, the photogrammery, it's a little wonky here. It's a really hard, but <laughs> yeah. 
Come here. Park on the street. your friend's place. Alright. Friend look, lives up there. Boom. You're there. You go. You chill with your friend. You're like, alright. I gotta go buy something. You go in. Takes two seconds to turn this thing on. Boom. You're airborne. Turn around. And you're off. <laughs> it's like crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Seventy two knots. I don't know if that's knots or kilometers, but I mean, it's pretty fast, I would say. Alright, let's uh, pick up some altitude to see what this thing can do as far as maneuvers. Alright, let's do some. Let's see what the roll rate is, if there's a limiter. Alright. Decent. Let's engage sport mode. I'm not sure what that exactly does, but. Sport mode. Oh, and it goes red. I don't know what the hell it does, but. I'm gonna try a little barrel roll here. Woo! Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's do one to the right. Look at that roll rate. Hell yeah. Let's gain some altitude and do a little um, loop de loop. There's a yellow light there. I don't know if that's. Alright. And here comes the loop. I think we're high enough. Oh! Wow. Crazy. Loops, rolls. It does it all. The Astro One or Jetson One. It does it all. I do notice in sport mode it goes a, seems to go a bit faster. I mean, it's going at a pretty pace. fun on your commute. Think about it, let's say you lived in one of these houses and you wanted to go downtown for it. Take you like three minutes. Yeah, let's check on our battery here real quick. Fifty. I don't know why it didn't start at like a hundred, but It's insane how maneuverable this thing is. Let's go buzz these guys. Can you imagine one of these things just zipping around like this? What was that? Is that a plane? Is that a helicopter? Nope. It's an Astro One. Oh, 
Holy cow, this thing is maneuverable. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was close, I don't know. <laughs> you guys sick yet? Wow. I have no idea if the real Jetson one is like this, but if it is, oh my god. It's probably the most funny anyone could have. It's the Vancouver Airport, that's what I'm wondering. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Give it some views. Oh, I think I see it. Let's go buzz the tower. off a bit so we don't drink all of our juice, we're at 45%. Holy cow. There's the airport, let's go for it. I had no idea Vancouver had this many trees. See the tower. We're flying so low that we're below the tree lines. Must be a new thing. All these are rocks. We made it almost. Water? Yeah, no worries. We're, f we're a flying machine. Don't care about water. traffic. Should we pretend that we landed on this <laughs> runway? Okay. Landed. To uh, Vancouver Tower doesn't see this very every day. Well, Vancouver Tower, 
press clearance to buzz the tower. How you guys doing down there? Freaking crazy. get the gist of it, we'll go and park next to this G aircraft, do a nice little loop-de-loop -loop here on the taxiways. Astro 1 approaching the ramp. For a parking spot, ooh! No! <laughs> well, guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, hope you guys have a better, <laughs> um, better luck with your landings. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one.